welcome to Ati's education. Today we are going to learn about the protractor. You can see here, here is a one instrument which we can see in our compass box. This is called the protractor. So we can observe that a protractor is semicircular in shape. Look here. It is a semicircular in shape. The semicircular edge of a protractor is divided into 180 equal parts. We can see here 180 parts from right side to left side and left side to right side here. Each part is 1 degree. And one degree is written as one degree. This is the sign of degree. It's a one degree. From this time, we are going to write this sign for a degree for the questions based on angles. Now, Let's turn towards to our protractor. The center of the circle of which the protractor is a half part. We can see here, this is the center of the protractor. Look, it's very important to us to know the center of the protractor because when we draw an angle, we have to use a center of the protractor so it's important for you to know the center of the protractor now here the center of the protractor is look here this is the center of the protractor just below to the 90 degree look 90 degree makes two parts of this protractor and that are equal parts. A diameter of that circle is the baseline or line of reference of the protractor. This is the diameter of this half circle and it is the it is called baseline. This is the baseline. This one is the center of protractor and Protractor is semicircular in shape, then it has clockwise and anti clockwise divisions from 0 to 180, and the parts are equal. Just remember, protractor is a semicircular in shape, it has 0 to 180 parts from left to right and right to left it has one center point and one baseline then we have to know the uses of the protractor a protractor is used to measure an angle and also to draw an angle according to a given measure look it's very important in our exam, the examiner asks us or gives us question that what is the of protractor. So, we have to know that a protractor is used to measure an angle. Uses of protractor. The first use of protractor is measure an angle to measure an angle or you can say measure and give an angle and the second use is to draw an angle according to given measure. These two are the uses of protractor. 
now i hope you will understand everything about the protractor now we are going to learn how to measure an angle so it's easy to us to solve problem set 25 look here i draw some figures for measuring an angle there are four figures and i show you here how to measure the given angle by using a protractor so for it first we have to put the center of the protractor now you are well known about the center this is the center of the protractor put the center of the protractor on the vertex here is our vertex that is p i am going to put the center of the protractor to the point v or our vertex b then then place the baseline of the protractor this is the baseline i show you this is the this is the baseline place a baseline on the line or arm bc here exactly we have to place our baseline look here here we have to place it very carefully so the baseline of protractor and the arm of our angle are going to be one look here like this then you have to count from the arrow and the arrow is not given in the figure you have to count opposite side of vertex now you have to measure from the zero on that side of the vertex on which the arms of the angle lies here the arms of the angle lies and we are going to start from this zero so 0 10 20 30 40 50 and here we can find there is a 60 so the measurement of this angle is 60 degree just you can write here make this type of sign and write here the measure 60 degree now we are going to measure the second angle the name of angle is x y and z or z y x here i am going to put the center point of protractor this is the center point of protractor on our vertex that is y and adjust our baseline and arm of our angle so can it's easy to measure us now look here here i am going to take divisions starting from zero from left side to right side because here we have an arrow and if there is no arrow arm um, yz is the left side of our vertex so we are going to start from left side 0 just place again here now it's perfect now let's count 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and here we can find 100 so this angle is 100 degree angle just right here like this 
now for third figure just place your center point of protractor to the on the vertex of our given angle adjust baseline of protractor and the arm of the angle here qr arm is on the right hand side of our vertex so let's start to count from our right hand 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and we can observe here there is 90 so this angle is 90 degree angle now fourth figure here when we observe the figure we notice that this is this figure is different from our first three figures here the base here the base arm is just little bit of slanting so we have to put our center point of the protractor on our vertex the vertex is here f just place here and you have to adjust our arm look here here is our arm now adjust our baseline or protractor like this and it's a perfect now here arm fg is on the right hand side of our vertex or you can see arrow also wherever there is arrow you have to start counting from that zero so here it's zero zero ten twenty thirty forty so our measurement for angle efg is 40 degree look it's very easy you just have to place the center point of the protractor on the vertex of given angle and then you have to just count from the zero i hope you will understand let's see you in next video thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you